Join us on the Dog Mountain Hike, one of the best wildflower hikes in the Pacific Northwest. In today's video, we'll share the best of the Dog Mountain hike and everything you need to know to hike it yourself. If you enjoy this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Dog Mountain is in the Columbia River Gorge on the Washington side, a little over an hour's drive east of Portland. Here we're crossing the Columbia River at the Bridge of the Gods. This is usually the fastest route from Portland, but there is a toll for the bridge. Parking can be pretty competitive at Dog Mountain on weekends, so we left Portland early. This is the lot at 9.30 a.m. on Saturday, June 25th. I'd say it was about 80% full, so it was busy but not hard for us to get a spot. While we start the climb, a few more key tips on parking. Permits are actually required on weekends and Memorial Day to hike Dog Mountain during the anticipated peak wildflower season. In 2022, the dates were April 23rd to June 12th. The permits aren't expensive, but they are limited. I'll include the permit reservation link in the description so you can find the details for the year you go. To park, you'll also need an America the Beautiful Pass, a Northwest Forest Pass, or pay a $5 per vehicle fee on site. This is one of the more challenging hikes in the Columbia River Gorge since it has so much climb. It is indeed very steep. We are already totally sweaty from just climbing this initial section. Dog Mountain is in an interesting ecosystem transition zone between the plants and animals west of the Cascades and those east of the Cascades, so you'll find a mix of both here on the same hike. Often turning a corner on the hike will reveal a totally different landscape. Given this mix, there is a healthy population of poison oak, so look out for it on your hike and try not to touch it. Signs posted at the entrance also warned about the possibility of ticks and rattlesnakes, but luckily we didn't see any of those. After a while, the trail comes to this intriguing junction that's simply labeled difficult or more difficult. Hopefully this doesn't reflect on our life choices, but we picked difficult. Definitely make sure to pack enough water on this one. And then suddenly the trail emerges from the trees and the whole Columbia River is before you. The whole approach to the summit is epic, with sweeping views that feel like being on top of the world. But one bizarre twist about Dog Mountain is that the summit itself is very unexpected. Stay tuned to see why. Dog Mountain is best known for its fields of yellow balsam root, a wildflower in the sunflower family, but there are also beautiful purple lupin, bright red paintbrush, and trailing flocks, among other wildflower species.
Brian was on call this weekend, so he needed to be somewhere with cell phone reception. We found that to be no problem. It might help to be way out in the open on the mountain. As we climbed, we caught glimpses of Mount St. Helens and Mount Hood in the distance. So, back to that discussion of the summit. Here is the final approach. What do you think? Is this the summit? Hmm. Well, the benefit is that it's not sunny and that there aren't bugs. <laughs> good About those bugs Brian mentioned. There are a ton of flies. How do you feel about the flies? There are many of them. They bite also, they even draw blood. There are a couple of options for the hike down from Dog Mountain. We took the intersecting Augsburger Trail on the way down to make a longer but more gradual loop. The whole hike was about seven and a half miles. Thanks for joining us at Dog Mountain. See you next time.